Hi, my name is Eleanor Mendelson and I'm the admissions director here at the Five Branches University. I'm also a graduate of Five Branches University and a licensed acupuncturist. So the presentation today is to explain to you all the things that usually prospective students would like to know and understand before they choose to dedicate themselves to study this medicine. So we're going to go over a little bit about what we teach here at Five Branches and then what can you do with this profession uh, to become a practitioner of Chinese medicine. So just so you understand, the main premise of Chinese medicine is that a man needs to become one with nature, which means that just as nature is going to, through all these cycles and rhythms, so just our human body goes through all these cycles and rhythms. But not always we can go through these cycles and rhythm flawlessly. Life uh, happens and this is when disease occur and when a person is going to seek for help from a practitioner. And the things that a practitioner of Chinese medicine can offer, there are five things that they can offer. So in general, in order to maintain our health, a person needs to take care of three things. They need to look at what they're eating, what they're eating needs to be according to the seasons and also according to their constitution. They need to be moving and they need to just take a breath, meditate and relax. But as I said, life happens and not always we can maintain our health. And when things happen, if it's on a more superficial level, on your muscles and bone uh, level, then a practitioner of Chinese medicine can perform Tui Na. And Tui Na is what I consider the physical therapy of Chinese medicine. And then if there are things that are a little bit in a state of imbalance more on the energetic level or if the physical things of Twena are not enough then of course you can add acupuncture and acupuncture is the insertion of fine needles into specific points on the body and if we're talking about more internal type of condition like cardiovascular, digestive problem, fertility problem, etc., then we would use herbal medicine. And herbal medicine are usually formulas that the practitioner will tailor for your constitution and your symptoms, and you will make it as a decoction and drinking as a tea. And if a person is not willing to do that, then the practitioner can use some other prepared forms, and they come pills and tinctures and syrups and patches and uh, so on. So these are the five tools that an acupuncturist can use to advise their client. They can advise them on their nutrition, on exercise, on relaxation, on uh, give them treatment with acupuncture, with herbs and with Twina and hence our uh, name Five Branches University because here at Five Branches you're going to study all these tools that later on are going to be under your scope of practice. 